Hi everyone, this is Bill from Lesson Picks, and uh, today we're going to talk about how to make core and fringe boards. So if you're not familiar with uh, core boards, they are very popular right now in the ATAAC uh, arena. We just got back from ATIA where they are the, the talk of the town. Uh, but they are, uh, they're actually fairly common. There's a, the Project Core at University of North Carolina is a great site if you want to learn more about it. But core boards basically have the most common words in English, the ones that you can use to get through your day-to-day -day discussions and things you need to talk about, uh, not just request, but actually complain and comment and things like that. Uh, you're going to use these words about 80% of the time, and they can get you through an entire conversation. Fringe, on the other hand, are words that are particular, are, are specific to particular situations. So when you're at school or if you're at lunch, and these are more uh, nouns or, or things that are specific to a particular area. So you'll have pictures of your friends, you'll have uh, clothing, what you want to wear, uh, things like that. So this is a book uh, that Lori, our, our founder, actually put together for her classroom. And you'll find that uh, we, gave, we gave away these uh, blank core boards that are laminated and super shiny, which makes it a lot of fun to, to video them today. Uh, but we gave these away at ATIA and uh, you can use this new tool we're going to walk through today to make the fringe boards that go with these particular core boards. So I'm going to walk you through how to make these. Uh, it's a great new tool and we're very happy to have it. Uh, when, we get, when I get done walking you through, I'll also show you how to bind these and why this particular layout works so well. The first step in making core and fringe boards is to find the core words we want on our board. We'll be using the list of 36 core words from the UNC Chapel Hill's Project Core. However, you can use any words you'd like. Most of the words we're looking for will be found in the category Core Vocab. Let's find Like. Notice we have several options. Choose your favorite, but you'll want to be consistent within your practice or at least each student. We'll choose the blue thumbs up. Next is Want, which is simpler. This one will do. Get is easy, but make is not in this category. Let's do a search for images for the word make. We have many ways to show make, including making a bed, sculpting, and even steps to make a snowman. We'll choose the structure symbol since it's clear that we're making something. We'll have to change the text when we run the wizard. Another way to find core words faster is to look in the sharing center for other core boards. Let's search for core in the sharing center. We get back lots of examples of core usage, from GoTalk overlays to labeling. Here's a board that a school district has made their standard. Notice that beneath the word download, you'll find the symbols that they used. We could load them all, but in this case, let's just take the ones we need. Here's I and it, who, what, and when. At this point, I have my 36 words, and I'm ready to make my core board. As usual, click Create Materials to launch the wizard. Under Communication Devices, you'll find Communication Boards. You can also start typing Core, Fringe, or Communication, and the system will show the right template. Clicking Next, we get our list of words. We could change the text or translate them here, but we'll save that for the Grid Layout step. Also, don't worry about color or order. We'll take care of that in a minute. Clicking Next, we get to the Options page for Communication Boards. Let's make a title of Core Words. We can put different titles on the fringe overlays later. We're making the green core board now. Notice the green dots on the layout. If we switch to Fringe, it would highlight the upper fringe rows instead. But we want the main core board. We're going to choose a layout with nine columns and four core rows with two fringe rows at the top. You could choose six by six, or choose to leave one or zero fringe rows. It's up to you. We do want to show the title at the top. If we disable this, it'll make the cells bigger and use the space at the top for more fringe room. We're using letter paper in landscape mode. We'll choose a century gothic font, text at the bottom, a medium border, and narrow spacing. The black border color is fine. Now, the fun part. Click Grid Layout to adjust your board. Notice that it shows just the four core rows and the nine columns. Fringe rows are made separately. Now we can move cells around, 
change text, and even paint cells quickly. Let's paint all the verbs green. We click on the Paint Cells dropdown and choose a pastel green. Then we just click the cells we want to paint. It's that easy. Here you see I've made the layout the way I want it and I've colored it. I'm no expert, so please forgive me if my coloring is off. You can use any colors you'd like. Once we're done, we just click Save Layout. Now we're ready to finish the PDF, so we go ahead and click Finish. Our core board is done. Notice the space left at the top for the fringe boards. Let's download this PDF file and print it. Going back to the wizard, let's hit Done and make a fringe board to match it. First we clear our tray. Now let's make an at school fringe board to go on the top. We'll add a class, library, gym, and other school-related pictures. We now have 18 symbols, enough for our two fringe rows. Click Create Materials and type Fringe to find the Communication Boards template. Click Next to go to the Options screen. Here we set a title of At School and Fringe as the type of board to generate. Notice the green dots are lit at the top, showing that's what we'll print. To get the sizing right, we enter the same settings, 9 rows, 4 core, and 2 fringe rows. Letter landscape page, century gothic font, and thin spacing. Clicking grid layout, we see our two rows of fringe. We'll move these around and fix any text, but I'll leave them white for the fringe. Again, you can color however you'd like. Click save layout to go back, and then click finish to make the PDF. There you have it, your fringe board will exactly match your core. Just cut it out and bind as you'd like. All right, with that done, we now have two things here. We've got our core board. This is the first one we made, and here's the fringe board we made to go with it. Now, uh, what's nice about this particular layout is that it lines up quite nicely. So if you look carefully uh, when you print these, the, the bottom of the fringe will exactly be in the right place uh, with the top of the core. What that means is that all you've got to do is to make a single cut across here and then you can bind it. Now, I am uh, cutting challenge. I've been told I need to go back to kindergarten because I never learned to cut. Uh, but even I can do this and uh, then I'll show you how to bind it. All right, so even with my poor cutting, you'll see that this lines up quite well. Uh, they're exactly the right size. Uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and bind these using a Velo binder. Now many of you guys will know how to do this better than I do, but let's go ahead and show this is a fellow's uh, binder. I'm going to go ahead and place in my core board, title side down, and uh, cut the holes for that. And then we'll do exactly the same thing with our fringe. Title side down. All right, so we've got our core on our fringe. We'll take our binding here. Oops. Gotta actually get it in there. All right. Put on the core first. that and there you have it. So that's easy to do. You could use a three ring binder if you prefer but here's your uh, exactly what we asked for. There's our core board, the fringe on top and you can have as many of these fringes on there as you want. So I hope that uh, shows how you can make your own core and fringe boards. I hope that uh, is, is a benefit to some of you. If you have any questions or comments, let us know at support at LessonPix.com or on our Facebook group, which we'd love for you to join, or actually leave comments here on the video if you'd like to do that as well. Hope you have a great, great day, and as always, good luck and have fun.